Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today guys, the French Navy has been caught red-handed. Very, very badly. Now it's been... If you don't know, Nigel Farage uh, went out on a boat to the channel, like the English channel, right? You probably would have seen this already. And he actually caught the French Navy escorted migrant boats from French shores to the UK Coast Guard of Dover. Yes, you heard me right. He literally caught them red fucking handed. And if you haven't been following the case of how bad the migrant crisis has been, or the so-called refugees the left would love to call them, it has been quite a bad situation for quite a while now, but it has escalated during the case of the coronavirus. But I think I know from now they have reportedly caught 1,000 people so far trying to cross over the channel into the UK. That's pretty fucking nuts. And that's what they've caught. And if you start looking at like certain days where they said where things were happening and like they, there'd be a little dinghy boat of 20 people and a raft one hour later after the hour later it's stupid clock in the morning so whatever happens goes on it is fucking nuts. I mean the fact this is 1000 already and so it was maybe a good 500 have actually lost over to the UK within the start week of lockdown and this is like a 10th week or something it's pretty fucking nuts the amount of people who have actually came across the ocean already and did this it's fucking nuts but let's go talk about what Nigel Farage did and what happened to him we will play the video at the end but if you know how YouTube videos go you just do what the bit I've asked you the look out for there. So let's go and talk about what happened. Well, what happened was Nigel Farage went up out on a boat because he wanted to take a look out to see how bad the funny thing case was. You know, see if it was as bad as they say and it's been underlined a fucking lot. We know why. Because the left hates reporting on this shit. They do. They absolutely hate it. Because they want these people who come over from the ocean from 15 very well developed countries to say oh I need to seek asylum in the UK and they will get a fucking free pass military fucking escort across the fucking ocean although you've already paid 5,000 fucking pounds or euros yeah it'd probably be euros euros to get a dinghy boat to illegally cross the channel and then you get escorted by a navy fucking frigate with fucking protection. It's fucking insane. I'm turning off the subject again. But we will be looking at the numbers and see how bad they are. Because I've been watching this carefully and the numbers are getting worse, guys. The numbers are getting way worse. The European project's fucked and this is just not helpful. And, well... What happened was, Nigel Farage, he went on a boat to take it out to see if it was going on, right? And he literally saw this little boat in the corner, of, like, you saw the boat, little dinghy boat, they say it was like, they had a call sign, whoever it was, saying that another ship saw that boat, said there was like 10 people on our little raft boat. No, it was more like 20 people were on the boat and people were lying on their backs, it was taken on water, it was everything. These were illegal migrants crossing the ocean to try and get to the UK. And what was circling around them for two hours? A French frigate. This frigate, my friends. This frigate. This French frigate was circling them for two hours and they were escorting them that little dinghy boat to um to the UK Coast Guard and funny enough 
the UK Coast Guard actually shouted or called Nigel Farage's boat to stop the cording, and they even like tried to shove the boat, like the big frigate, are covering up the boats at like the dinghy boat. That's a lot of boats trying to get saying there, trying to cover this up. And it's like it's absolutely fucking insane. How fucking distrustful is all this? And this doesn't help when we have a European law that we have to comply by every fucking time. Because they say, oh, it's the freedom of movement. Well, this doesn't feel like the freedom of movement. This just sounds like you pushing efforts to blame themselves. The French don't want to deal with them. So let's just chuck the shite over to the English and see what fucking happens there. They're just shifting the blame. And funny enough, I don't know why... This is fucking stupid. I don't know why, but Nitro Flash, they were they they were actually going to get the boat fined off of them, or he could be serving time in jail if they stopped the cording. And it was nuts. They were actually that's just insane. Nigel's boat was about to be seized by the British Coast Guard by them causing the bring in illegal migrants. Bring in the fucking steam train, will ya? The Free Express is fucking here for every illegal migrant we want to fucking take in. Nay fucking problem, mate. It's alright. We've got fucking Navy ships. We've got the British Coast Guard. And you will get everything you want. And we know what happened to that 20 bunch of people, don't we? They say they were going to get reported and they got questioned. No. They will get questioned. They're not going to be sent back. Right? They're not going to be sent back. No way. Um, maybe one of the 20 people would be sent back. But we know who they are. Most of these people are men. Men that came from third world countries to come to the UK because we know we would just accept them no matter what. This is abolishing. This is absolutely fucking disgraceful. I mean, I don't even know how to go around this. I wasn't even sure about how to make this video, let alone anything else. But after this, after this was over, Nigel went home, did that, was fine. You know, if you want to hear more about what Nigel did and what happened after the video here, go and watch his little segment on LBT News. I think that's where it was. I'll tr make sure I try and remember the link below. That's him talking about it. It's an issue. It's a serious fucking issue, guys. And this is worse down in England. But let's see what happened to Nigel after that. Well, he got police over to his house. And then he got called by them to say, Oi, mate, you need to be chill. You got your social distancing in order. Because what you were doing there wasn't a social distancing. You fucking kidding me. And these police officers were sent from Kent. You went from fucking Kent to where he lived. I can't mind where it says. It says here in the article somewhere. But they moved quite far out of their own area just to go and speak to Nigel Farage. Do they have special people for Nigel Farage? But the thing is, he is a journalist technically still. And are they not priority workers right now? It's quite insane. But we know well, this is a big problem. Uh, because here's a one from uh, Little Bill who, which actually made a cross uh, from Hastings. This little boat just managed to get its way into fucking Hastings without any problems. And it did get captured, but they said they all got questioned and they probably got to seek asylum. So they're all probably living in the UK now, so that's fucking great. And we, we need to change the policy. We fucking do. And I really w hope Pity Patel actually does something about this. Because this is fucking serious. If people... If the government's not going to do something about it. The people are going to start taking actions. And that's bad when the people have sta start taking actions. When the government should be dealing with this. But we know why we can't do much about it. Same as the UK government and the people... At the Coast Guard, they, we have to accept them because it's European law of the Commission of uh, Free Movement, and that's what's causing all this to keep happening. And I say, I'm saying this now. When 
this actually starts realizing because I think Pity Patel, despite she was doing not fucking much to stop this, I know she's done something. She's not done that much, but I know the there's a bill that's went through that it's on its second phase that will end at the end of the year. They will say that we, this is not happening anymore. Like that freedom movement thing. The the people who's organizing these dinghy boats, they are going to fucking panic. They're going to, the, the traffickers, sorry, traffickers, they are going to fucking panic like nuts. One, they're going to bring as much of the people as they can because they're going to try and get as much money as they can. Because remember, the small boat costs like 5000 per person, so they're making a good fucking mint out of 20 people. That's a lot of fucking money. 20k... Like, sorry, not 20k, that's like only a few people. It's like, 20 people on a boat, 5k each person. That's a fucking lot of money for them to legally do it. And they don't give a shit where if somebody dies. They've still got that massive journey. And it's still a massive task to control the, the channel as it is. Because these boats are tiny. They're tiny. And it's like, it's very likely that we've missed so many of them already. And the UK is swarming with over a million illegal migrants already. So, illegal immigrants, sorry, that's long words, Jesus. But it's very serious about what could be happening. And on the, the second thing that could end up happening with this sort of thing, well, one, like I said, they could go extremely about it. And, well, actually, partially to that same statement, there's going to be a shit ton more of them coming from April, sorry, May, April, June, July, August, September, October, to all the way to December, because that's December the 31st is when this is all ended. This is where it's all going to fucking go in, because there's going to be way much more people illegally crossing, including that too. That's probably what number two is. So, on the end of the note, I hope you guys did like the video. And we're going to see what Nigel Farage did. This is on LB, LBT News anyways. So hope you guys see this and realize we're in fucking trouble if we don't do something about it now. So here we are, middle of the English Channel. We're right on the edge of British and French territorial waters. Uh, it's a pretty calm day. Um, already there have been three migrant boats spotted. All of these are classed as search and rescue missions. But the truth of it is, uh, this is a massive criminal enterprise that is organizing all of this, making vast sums of money. You can see the boats absolutely packed, all being charged a minimum of 5,000 euros each for the criminal gangs to make this crossing. I mean, you can't believe when you see how close the water is to the edge. I mean, how massively overcrowded this is. We could put them under tow, but there's no point because we know that border force, the vessel, is on its way from Dover, so we will just kind of keep guard here. We are now going back into French waters. What we know is that a French naval vessel has been seen escorting boats out of French waters to get them into British waters, then they're off their hands. So the big French naval vessel now has gone. They've done their job. They've brought, escorted that little dinghy on the left there into British waters. They've now left their own rib off the big vessel just to make sure they're safe until the handover to the border force. They're even trying to prevent us filming it with the French naval vessel trying to get in the way of the handover. We have just been told by UK Coast Guard that they will commandeer this vessel if we film the handover between the French Navy and the British border force. So it's not just the French threatening us, it's now, you know, somebody here I'm out with, they're threatening him with his living if we tell the truth about this story. This has got to be out there. Home Secretary, you've got to act. As so guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means act excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys and the number hail the empire